Hello everyone, welcome back to Apexis Tutorials. This tutorial is about welding application. In this video, we will show you how to create an offline programming for motorcycle frame welding using Visual Components OLP software. In this cell setup, we are using Yaskawa AR2010 robot model which is mounted on pedestal and motorcycle frame workpiece is mounted on a fixture which is attached to a single axis positioner. Let's get into the tutorial. To get started, create a new sequence with any desired name. To create a weld path, select path tool in the program editor. Enter desired weld length in topology analysis tab. Now the cursor goes to the surface picking mode for picking the weld path. Hover the cursor on the workpiece and click at desired location on the workpiece to see the preview of the weld path. Adjust weld length in topology analysis and click on apply to create a weld path. To change the weld direction, click on path tab in path setup panel and select reverse feature to change the weld path direction. For controlling external positioner axis, click on aux tab and from different welding positions options, select correct welding positions to achieve the desired workpiece welding position. For this motorcycle frame workpiece, select lock icon in aux tab to get horizontal welding position. Now you can see that the robot is colliding with the workpiece fixture. To avoid the collision, click on point control at top right corner of the window. Now select a point in the weld path which is not colliding and select all the remaining points and click on set current orientation to get the same orientation for all the points. To change the torch angles, select adjust tab and change different angles to get the desired torch angle for the weld path. Now adding intermediate points gives you collision free robot movement. To simulate the weld path, call the weld path job in the main job and click on play to see the weld path simulation. Once it is done, in the next step for creating a weld path with coordinated motion, create a new job and select path tool in the program editor. Enter desired weld length in topology analysis tab. Hover the cursor on the workpiece and click at desired location on the workpiece to see the preview of the weld path. Adjust weld length in topology analysis tab and click on apply to create a weld path. To achieve coordinated motion by controlling external positioner axis, click on aux tab and from different welding position options, Select correct welding positions to get the desired workpiece welding position for coordinated motion. Select adjust tab and change different angles to get the desired torch angle for the weld path. Intermediate points are added to get the collision free robot movement. Now call the weld job in the main job and run the simulation to see the coordinated motion. In the next step, for cloning of a weld path, create a new job and select path tool in the program editor. Hover the cursor on the workpiece and click at desired location on the workpiece to see the preview of the weld path. Adjust weld length in topology analysis tab and click on apply to create a weld path. To assign a particular positioner value to the weld path, select point control and enter the desired positioner value in the aux column to get the correct welding positions. To create clone of the weld path, first select the weld path and click on clone feature. From the clone panel, select correct clone function to get desired clone weld path. Here we need mirror clone option. Select mirror clone option and click on set clone reference. Select reference surface 1 and reference surface 2 in the layout to get the preview of the mirror clone weld path. After preview of the weld path, click apply to create the clone weld path. Intermediate points are added for all the weld paths to get the collision free robot movement. Now call the weld job in the main job to see the weld path simulation. 
So this is how the well program is taught in Visual Components OLP software. Hope you understood the concept. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for taking time to understand the concept. Have a good day.